I've always felt that maybe, you know, magic before noon is not the best idea, but hey, I'm here for my international viewers today and we have things to give away. So we're going to get that done as well. Salutations, kindred spirits. Good morning if you're in the central time zone and maybe it's afternoon or good evening to my international viewers. We said we were going to get a stream done for you guys and here we are doing it today. I do want to mention as we begin that I will be giving away the Blizzard package from the last live stream. This is the wonderful Dean Dill release from many moons ago. I highlighted it on the last stream. We'll be doing one of these today, a YouTube random comment picker. So if you haven't commented on my last live stream, I'm going to hold off and I'll mention this again a little later in case we have some extra viewers join the fray, give everybody a chance to win. Also decided we're going to do another giveaway. I'll mention that in a little bit. Now, kind of uh, kind of pulling a Hail Mary on this stream as my original intention for today was to do an unboxing session with some of the items I'm expecting from Murphy's Magic. Yes, I'm expecting them. I was expecting them yesterday so that I would have them here this morning, but they're still on a UPS truck en route to Hacienda Khan. So that unboxing session will be something else. I guess, you know what I'll, uh, you know what I'll loosely discuss here is what we're going to do for the members at 10 here. Here's a good way to introduce this. I think, let me, uh, I was making a sign for Let me, let me finish the sign here. This is my, this is what I do in my spare time. I'm a semi-professional sign maker. So I was making a sign for the next event. So, I mean, is a K and an S and there's an I in it. There's, oh, there's two L's. Oh, with a P, I need the P. Oh, and there's another E and there we go. That's the sign. That's the front. That's the back. This will be the topic for the members today. We're going to do a we're going to do a deep dive on, uh, let me spell it out for you. We're going to do a deep dive on paddle tricks at uh, what is 11 Central. Again, breaking my rule that uh, magic before noon is a good idea. But that was a paddle trick, and this is the subject that we'll be discussing. I've got seven or eight commercial items. We'll look at some regular items, give you guys a good introduction at, 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 on a commercial paddle trick magic. So hopefully that'll be fun. In lieu of the Murphy's Magic uh, unboxing, we're playing it by ear. On that note, hey, I'm open for uh, topic discussions. Let's, uh, if you guys have something you want to talk about, feel free to, 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 to uh, let me know. Uh, let me say hi to some folks. Hey, Cosmic, this is your idea. I hope this goes well. Matthew Mosley, greetings, buddy. Uh, Bill, good to see you. Peter, hey, and will there be a giveaway? Yes, there will be two giveaways in this stream. Going to mention them both again briefly. Greetings, India. Good to see you. That's why we're here, to give our international viewers a chance to, to be here. Hey, Hitesh, looking forward to getting some more street clips. It's like 100 degrees here in New Orleans right now, so it's unwieldy to get out there and street perform. Yeah, here's uh, Keystone saying it, high of 92. No chance of a blizzard here. Hey, Marty, I said hi to you already. I think I did, regardless. Good morning, good evening. All right, what's, uh, so yeah, we're doing this giveaway today. Blizzard, comment on the last, on the last live for a chance to win. And what else can I do for you guys? Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll do, here, we'll do another paddle trick. This, I'll get, this is a standard one. This will give me a chance also to promote my, uh, my side hustles. Y'all know I run a little jam over at conjure.com where I sell things, right? To unsuspecting rubes. <laughs> where is it? There it is. Okay. This is the pa this is a paddle trick. This is one of the world's best, or, or certainly a classic. It says it's the world's greatest pocket trick. I don't know about that. The world's greatest pocket trick. I know this for a standalone piece. If you want to just put one, no, it's no moving parts. It has audience interaction. Your spectator gets to pick a number. I'm just going to get a use a use a die here to work this out. There's six gems, so it's like the Infinity Gauntlet. This is this is topical if you want to play this off as a Marvel 
a Marvel uh, themed magic trick. You can do the magic trick and you threaten if they don't like it, you're going to snap. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe I'm playing this out too much. All right, here we go. <laughs> so you have a you have a spectator choose one of your uh, six infinity stones. Is that what they are? I'm just going to roll the dice here. Regular dice. Any number is fine. What do we got? A two. What you do for this to randomize it is spell it. So for two, that would be T-W-O. That would be the red stone, which I think is the, the space stone. I'm not sure. Note that it's the same on the back. If we spell T-W-O, that also lands on the red. And yes, that's contrived. But hey, that's how we get to red. Here's another way to get to red. You just twist it. And then, oh, I counted the wrong thing. I forgot the space. I got the... Here I am amazing myself. And now, not only has the paddle changed to red, but then to blue. It's a double mystery as I'm managing to, <laughs> to discombobulate the world's greatest pocket trick and probably the easiest trick you'll ever see me do on this stream. I missed the force. Let me do this again. Two. T-W-O spells two, and it lands on the blue one. If we count on the backside, T-W-O spells two. And yes, that's right. We'll also be learning about magic forces today on the stream. Woo! And now you know more than you need to know about the hot rod. Okay, Marty's got me covered here. Like, I'm a Marvel fan, but I don't have the Infinity Gauntlet mem memorized. I knew I wanted the Space Stone. I had the pattern right. I just had the color wrong. But now I know what the Reality Stone is. Jimmy's laughing with me, not at me, I hope. The luckiest man in the land, Jimmy Ferrister. He won a uh, prize last stream. By the way, if you won a prize last week, or if you were a birthday boy, all your packages are in the mail. Thanks again, Jimmy, for opting to spend some extra cash at the store. with your. That helps with the shipping. But uh, Cat Cat, if you're watching, your stuff's on the way. And also, Jason Y. I missed your birthday. I was so busy. I missed the stream. But yeah, we're... Uh... <clears throat> Pro, I'm reading Pro Basil's comment. Anyway, Jason, you got a package coming in the mail today. You know what I was going to do? Pre-stream, I'm over here. Am I ready to do the Rubik's Cube trick yet? And it's going to happen today. I was going to do it live on the stream, but I didn't because I'm not ready. But maybe by the end of the day, you'll see it. Old dog, new tricks. Hey, Marty, let's talk to this uh, about... Uh, oops, wrong comment. <laughs> Let's talk more about this on the members jam. Uh, for sure, I like the hopping, the jumping gems. I'll just briefly mention this alternative. This is the amazing jumping arrow, which has a lot of qualities of the jumping gems. You'll recognize it there and here. Uh, this is a Mayor Yedid offering, and we'll be talking about that as well. So this will be a member's experience if you're not a member of uh, the site. Why not? It's cheap. There's value. It helps the cause. And then also, uh, uh, we keep some of the more important secrets behind closed doors, right? Like, I'm not exposing everything to the wiles of the internet, so we're not doing that. <clears throat> Sometimes I expose or teach. I like to think of it as a learning experience. All right. What now? What, what else is the giveaway? The other thing I want to give away today for live viewers, someone live in the stream, because someone not live might win Blizzard, I'm going to send someone this. This is my thread package that I sell at Conjure.com. I don't sell a lot of these, so I know a lot of students have may, maybe not experimented with uh, invisible thread, loops, and some of the other offerings. So today on this live stream, we're going to give this away to a live viewer, and we'll get to that in about, I don't know, about 15 minutes. And in about five minutes, repeat, I'm going to give away Blizzard. If you haven't commented on the last live stream, this is the last time I'm going to mention it before we go to the YouTube comment picker and do that. Whee! This is, this is not just uh, an interesting experiment in giving, but also to see how quickly I can break myself through international postage. Hitesh wants to know if I ever plan on performing for Penn & Teller. 
Yes, I have. I've tried. I've auditioned. So far, I have not made it there. Can I show a single coin trick? Yeah, let's do some. Uh, I'll do what I do with a single coin for you guys. This is good information. I think it's a valuable thing to know uh, magic with a single coin. And I don't know if you are asking for magic with one coin or just a coin trick, but you're going to get them both here as I warm up the coin. This is also a good warm up for the manipulation, the, uh, the, the numismatic leisure domain. It heats up the silver, it heats up the fingers, and it should just a little bit more here. Yeah, you, you want to warm it up so it becomes malleable. And then from there, if you know how, and I do, you can squeeze it until it's completely naked to the invisible eye, which is a small joke rarely laughed at. Look, if you reverse the friction, you just reverse the friction, you can bring the coin back. I'm not used to doing this with my ring on. <laughs> but, uh, excuses, excuses. It goes up the sleeve. That's over here, up the sleeve. Sometimes it goes down, down the, <clears throat> I got it. And then it'll go up. Whoa, ah, boink. That's some of the magic I do with a single uh, coin. And yeah, there's a single coin trick. Did you, Unless you wanted, well, we did them both. We, we did them both. Best type of gaff deck to buy first, invisible, spin galley, or stripper. So if you've never done magic before, the spin galley deck is going to give you instant gratification. The best, the best one though is the Sven, is the invisible deck. And I did put together a nice package deal. I, I offer all three for like 25 bucks at conjure.com. You get a couple books with it. I suggest all three. What is this, Peter? What do you have next to your name? Not the card the other thing drew next to my name. Uh, je ne sais quoi. Down here? Let me get the close-up pan. Oh, this was my paddle trick. <laughs> Today we're talking about paddle tricks on the stream. This will be the members. If, you, if you're late to the stream, we already did this thing. Yeah, we're going to talk about paddle tricks today. Commercial paddle tricks for the members. That'll be at 10, 10 no, 11 o'clock central. That's right after this stream, but it's for members only. Yeah, the invisible deck, that's my favorite one. For sleight of hand card tricks, it's flush brush. That's where I paint the royal flushes. Yep. Yep, Drew's taking care of business. He is on... On the cause, and we thank you, Drew. All right, we don't know. So, Gabby, I've been doing magic for about uh, 13 minutes now. We started at 10 a.m. Insert rim shot here. Plus 40 years. Oh, there's a good question. Keystone Keegan wants to know, what tricks do I do to gather a crowd? So, like, when I'm busking out in the... I just hit the laughter button. Stop. Okay. So uh, when I'm in, in the wild, the tricks I use are coin magic or linking rings. Uh, both of those have different things that work well. The rings is probably the best one because it has a lot of sound. People know it's magic. You know, it's visible. It's chest high. Oops, pardon me. I'm getting excited about the rings. So it has all the right elements to draw a crowd. The coin tricks are nice because now... Uh, this I do the uh, the shadow coins on the table, and this is allows anyone walking by to see magic. So like, if it's a slower day, this for me is a better routine because now if people are passing by my table and they they just give me a second to look at the table and they'll see something magical occur, and we can do this without as much bravado as say banging rings around, and sometimes that's a better draw on the streets, but. This is one of the tricks that I use to gather a crowd, and I do an extended like three-minute routine with the four coins. It, include, it includes some of the one-coin magic that you saw me do just a minute ago as part of that segment. 
And again, coins, they're jingling and uh, it's, it's, it's the coins and rings. That's what I use. <clears throat> Favorite card force is dun, 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 Charlie Miller cut force. The timing force where uh, you're cutting the cards to the table in small packets as you ask your spectator just to say stop. And they say stop anytime, and that's the one. You know, there are other forces that are maybe more uh, natural, the classic, the riff, not the riff. I don't, I don't care for this one. I do use it sometimes, but my favorite one is this one. I just, just say stop. Charlie Miller, cut force. All right, Bill Chow. Jay likes stripper decks and brainwaves. Nice. Can I teach it briefly? Briefly. So you got to break above the force card in the bottom portion of the deck, little finger break. You start cutting cards to the table, small packets. This is a timing force. So it depends on the performer as whether you want to do it on the second or the third one. But as you cut on the timing that works best for you, you say, just say stop. Now you make one more cut and they either going to stop here, 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 or here. And you, you just give yourself a wide range of timings. And you also want to do this. Use the Jedi mind powers, the gaze, the verbal, the body language, you know, send the waves that instruct your spectator to say stop when you want them to. You can figure that out with a little practice. That's the real secrets. Edward, welcome to the stream. You're late, but there's no penalties. Pretty much for anything here. What? 100% waterproof cards, huh? I've seen those, but I've never, never felt they're like easy to handle at a, uh, you know, I'm just kind of used to cardboard, I guess. Hmm. Marty Jacobs votes for the Christ Force. Yeah, all right. Not going to argue that. There's so many. Probably, really, if you want the best one, it's probably the Cut Force. Really, come on now. That's going to be the all-time favorite, the all-time best force. You just have him cut it. Mark the cut. Jay's going to get marked. Go get some tattoos. Oh, are you, work are you a tattoo artist? Or are you getting tattooed? Regardless, enjoy your tattooing. Favorite cups routine? Uh, well, okay, it's got to be Tommy Wonder's two cup routine. That's the best one. And then the one I really used for most of my life is David Williamson's gold cups. And that is the routine that what you've seen me do is based on. So David Williamson gold cups. So give yourself time to master the Pharaoh shuffle. I suggest this, keep the deck in new deck order. When you do the shuffle, hold on a second. Hey, Jay, thank you. Before you run out and get your tattooing on, appreciate you sharing the wealth, brother. So if you keep a deck in new deck order, then you'll always be cutting at the same cards when you cut 26 and 26. This will give you a visual reference for the exact cut. And keeping the deck in new deck order means the deck will stay in good shape while you practice, which is really helpful when you're learning the Pharaoh shuffle. The rest of it's just time, time and care, practice a lot. That's usually the answer for most, for most things. Yeah, this is, the learning experiences are not for everyone, but I do share the wealth when I can for kindred spirits. We welcome muggles, we welcome enthusiasts, we welcome students, we welcome masters. Everyone's welcome here. I try to give something for everybody. All right, a couple more questions and we're going to give away this Blizzard deck. If you haven't commented, you got about two minutes coming on the last stream. You know, I don't. This is a this is an interesting question. Let me make a mental note of this, and I'll, I'll take the time to look up some of these people you mentioned, because I should. The, do I know any Indian magicians like Sh Suhani? Do my homework after this stream, or Karan. All right. Uh, pardon me if I got their names wrong. I'll look into it afterwards because I would like to broaden my horizons. Thanks for the recommendations. 
Uh, favorite trick with stripper deck. Let's do this one, and then we'll do uh, – Chris James is messaging me. And then we will do the giveaway. Stripper deck, right from conjure.com. You know, I've done a deep dive on this. You can go to conjure.com. I've got like top 10 tricks with a stripper deck. So you go there, you can learn this thing. It's the information's on YouTube as well. So I give you like 10 tricks. Let me get this comment so everyone can see it. This is a stripper deck. If you don't know, it's a tapered deck. It's shaped weird. It looks like it's a regular deck. They're all there. They're all different. You can play card games with this, which means you can cheat card games with this and not that i recommend that but here's the favorite thing i do with it you get it nice and mixed it's a well shuffled deck you have your spectator pick any card i'm just going to pick for you and then of course they'll want to remember the card and then you do the trick you find the card now i'm not going to look through the deck to find the card and let me give this another shuffle i'm just going to find the cards by cutting the deck so i'm not actually looking for it now i'm going to I'm going to cut the deck dead center. We're going to go 26 and 26. Seems like I'm off by one or two. Okay, so that's that's close. I'm off by one. It's 25 and 27. So almost dead center. Yeah. How, how do you know? How do you know? Well, you do this. If you put all the red cards on one side and then all the black cards on the other side. See how that's all the black cards? Well, that's 25. That's 25 black cards. Yeah, remember there's an extra in the red side. One black card in the red side. That's the selected Jack of Clubs. And, you know, uh, not just for a stripper deck, but really for <laughs> any card trick session, that could be a closer. It's quite a display of prestidigitation. So that's my favorite stripper deck trick. Again, revisit my uh, deep dive, 10 tricks. With a stripper deck, there's some interesting things there that I dug out of the cardopia. All right. Thanks for the kind comments. I'm seeing y'all saying it. And uh, was that a force? Uh, no, twas not, sir. Oh, wonderful. Glad things are arriving quickly. Sometimes the postal. <laughs> uh, but, but I wonder... Did you buy your stripper deck from conjure.com where we sell the best quality bicycle factory cut stripper decks? Hmm. Jesse has the room strippers. I don't even know what that is. Sounds, sounds expensive. All right, let's give away something. Let's go to the wheel. Have I plugged in the thing? All right, so here we are. We're giving away Blizzard, folks. This is Dean Dill's masterpiece from back in the day. Let me get this front and center. If you don't know what that is, note that I have done a members-only deep dive on the Blizzard strategy, as this is not released anymore. If you're a member of my channel, you can go learn this today. But if you're not, maybe if you just like a piece of nostalgia, or perhaps you're an international viewer that doesn't have access to these kind of things. I'm just going to wish everyone good luck as we go to the YouTube random comment picker to pick a winner for the blizzard deck. Now, here we go. Any, nope, we're going to not, we're going to do. No, this is all good. All right. Anything goes. Here we go. Pick a winner. Click 43 comments. Stumble night. Stumble night also wants to know. Do I know the Burglass effect? I do know the Burglass effect. It's a challenging one that maybe we won't talk about deeper today. Regardless of that, congratulations to Stumble Knight. And Peter, if you commented on that, that was directly from the YouTube comments of that stream. I have no control over any of that, so we don't know. But anyway, Stumble Knight, congratulations. You're going to want to email me. That's going to be, do I have a thing? There I am, conjure at conjure.com. This is my email. Anyone can email me for any reasonable reason at all. I answer most all of them, and I am the one that answers those emails. I'm the one that packs your stuff. So you get my DNA when you order from conjure.com along with a little bit of love, and that's the name of that tune. Congrats, congrats again to Stumble, Stumble Night. Now, there is one more giveaway that we're going to do. 
I don't know. We'll do this in about, what time is it? 1025? We'll do this in about five minutes. This is, again, for the thread package. And a live viewer from the stream is going to win this. It's a set of Yigel Masika's loops. These things are devious. You get a spool of invisible thread, some nice hard paraffin wax to go with it. Leo Benke's thread reference manual, which is a great resource for all kinds of thread magic. And if you're interested in, uh, interested in floating, animation, et cetera, I compiled this little kit to give a beginner a good start and hopefully someone that will use it will win it today. Uh, anyone but Jimmy Ferrister. We're, we're rooting for everybody but Jimmy. Nothing personal, Jimmy. You've had your run. I did put a link to conjure.com in the description below. You know, if you need a link to the site, you can go there. Let me do one more thing. Nah, let's not do that. I'll do I'll do requests, questions, etc. Phoenix, another one ready for wins. You've got some prizes recently. Everyone's getting prizes as I continue my quest to become the Mr. Beast of Magic. Gotta start somewhere. We're starting with trick decks and string. <clears throat> what else you all want to talk about before I give away this thing? <laughs> Jimmy's finding reasons to win still. Maybe you should, Jim. Scotch and soda. Man, if I, you know, I don't have one in arm's reach, Drew. And I'm not wearing pants, so I'm not standing up to go get one. That's a good, that's a good recommendation. Have I ever performed a three-card monarch? I have not. You know, when I was a young man and that trick was released, it was unwieldy for me to obtain. Always wanted one, never got one. I did purchase or uh, acquire. Actually, Harry gave me one of his, he called it the Monty Gras, which was a jumbo Mardi Gras routine with hand-painted cards that he had, I think he painted them. Regardless, I have that, but not the three-card monarch. That's a beautiful routine. And again, I mentioned Hello Sucker on the last stream. If you guys didn't take my recommendation to go watch Harry Anderson, you fail. Yeah, that's Harry's routine. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the thing I wanted to talk about today. Cosmic wants to know about the course. I put that in the title. So, y'all, here's what I'm doing. I'm making a course. Here's the course, how to do sleight of hand magic, 30 lessons. The goal is to give a, a novice, a beginner, a good introduction to sleight of hand magic. This will be a membership offering on its own website. Here's what I'm gonna do for this course. I'm gonna put it on YouTube for my members as I develop the course. This will likely take me two months. And then over the course of two months, it'll be 30 to 40 videos. And this will give my members access to this material for a reasonable, pri reasonable price of like five bucks a month while I develop the course. And it will give me an opportunity to get feedback from the members as I develop the course and make sure that I'm delivering good information that could serve a beginner well for 10 years from now. The course will probably retail for $50. The members can get this information for five bucks a month for the next couple months. Now, uh, will I leave it on there forever? No, but through July and August, these videos are gonna go up. They'll be in their unique viewing folders, unlisted, and it will begin next week, Craft. Phoenix wants to know, when does it start? Well, I, I start, start day is the first. Is that yesterday? Today. But I'm not making myself start filming until next Monday. It was a busy week. So yeah, so to become a member, there is a link in the description of this video. You can go click on the link in the description and it'll take you to how to join my membership section, which currently has dozens of advanced tutorials, 
and uh, special live sessions, including the one that I'm doing right after this stream at 11, where we're going to talk about a whole bunch of different paddle tricks that I think are are worth uh, are, are worth uh, your your attention. Uh, Matthew, I've been giving away random gifts for members on the stream. Aside from that, oh, you mean as far as gifting memberships to students? No, I have not. I have not even had a minute to look at the details of that. I was thinking about it literally in my shower this morning, like, man, it's another thing I haven't done. But uh, this is a marathon. It's not a sprint. If I don't get the this information right to you, but YouTube is now allowing membership gifting. So People can gift memberships to other viewers who haven't had a chance to get them yet. I look forward to promoting that more soon. Dan, what's happening, buddy? Daniel Geddes, good to see a kindred spirit there. So, Mohammed, these will be posted as I get them accomplished. My goal is to get them done within the next two months and have the course ready to roll, certainly by fall, you know. Yeah, so that's that. There'll be lots. I'll be blabbing about it on the platform. I got to, you know, of course I'm going to blab about it. You'll know about it more because if I don't, no one will buy it. And then the effort will not be, you know, rewarding for anyone. I'll be doing my best to deliver good information for beginners. And hopefully that will uh, accumulate in some sales that continue to allow me to do this indefinitely moving forward. Favorite card suit. What's my favorite card suit? Man, is that a thing? I need that, I guess. Diamonds. Diamonds. It's officially diamonds. Show an easy way to do the three jokers using two jokers and a different card. So what you're probably talking about there, here, let me pull out this fine Richard Turner deck that we got from Gary Henderson last, last week, because I know there's two jokers in here. You're, you're talking about the Anaman Chris alignment move or the quick three way as Ed Marlowe called it. I had Steve Reynolds over here yesterday. We were talking about Marlowe and Ibidum. This is where the sequence was printed and maybe there's a Marlowe and Ibidum book coming out in the near future. And now I'm going to get, I'll do the giveaway for the thread right after this. So here's uh, the quick three way. So I've got two jokers and an ace in the middle. And what I'm going to make it look like, let's do this. We'll make it look like they're all aces. So, for example, on the bottom of the packet, there is an ace. On the top of the packet, there is an ace. And in the middle of the packet, there is an ace. So it kind of looks like all three cards are aces. But we know they're not. There's no way that that can be an ace on the bottom and have an ace on the top and have an ace in the middle. It just doesn't make sense that there would be an ace here and here and here when you know that these two are jokers. So here we go. We'll briefly talk about this. I've done a tutorial on it on YouTube. You could look for my three card Monty or color Monty information. This is the, this is the move. Okay. So I've got it in dealing grip. I've got the card I'm going to repeatedly show on the face of the pack in the, my three card packet. I pull back the top card with my index finger, my first finger. I just pull it back. And then my second finger lands on top of the middle card. Boink. My thumb comes to the back and, and contacts the rear so that when I push forward with everything on the top, the top and the bottom card align as the hand moves forward. So now the, the top and the bottom card can be pinched. So now I can show the bottom card. That's one. I do that move. Four finger, second finger, thumb, boink. Now I can pinch at the back. And as I turn over the top one, it's two cards. So it looks like the top card. And then I'm going to do a multiple turnover, just pushing everything over with my thumb and then turning those over and showing the card in the middle, which is just a single. I follow that up with Brother John Hammond's frustration count. You can Google that if you need more information, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And that is how we show three cards as one, or one card as three, with the Inman Christ alignment move and the frustration count. I think I also added a, a, rump, a rumba count in there as well. And now, now we maybe know more than we need to know about that move. 
All right, let's give away the thread package. I'm grabbing a card here. If you know my favorite card, you're going to have an advantage because that's the one I'm grabbing. These things always take a while. You're going to win it if you can guess it. Here's the card. Here's the prize. Who wants it? 52 possibilities. All you have to do is guess the card in my hand and you will win a card kit. <clears throat> Matthew Mosley, he knows. Hey, I'll be happy to send it to Matthew Mosley. Matthew Mosley knows it's the four of diamonds and I'm happy to see a kindred spirit, a young man who's practicing hard and doing good things with his magic. Matthew, you know where to email me and I'll get that in the mail to you this weekend, buddy. I hope you enjoy it. Made that a little easier, but look how long it took knowing that the four diamonds, but Matthew did right off the bat. Well played, buddy. Appropriate, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you for your participation, Mr. Ferrister. Yeah, Matthew is a young student. I don't know if this man's even in his middle school years yet, but he is uh, doing magic live on a regular basis and sending good vibes with it. Congrats, buddy. Yeah, send me an email. We'll send you this care package. Yeah, let's learn some advanced magic. That way everybody can benefit. You want to know about the rumba count. Let me get my cards back out. Where'd they go? There we go. The Rumba Count by Jean-Pierre Valerino, which this move, to my knowledge, was originally published in John Rockerbomber's Modus Operandi magazine. So it's let's let's use four cards here, and I'll use a blank one. So just any there, we'll do that. So I've got one of the, a blank a blank facer, and then three three random cards. Hey, Bob. Thank you for joining the jam. More giveaways tomorrow. I'm probably going to pa pause the giveaway button for a week just till I align my shipping <laughs> my shipping charges. Oh wait, you're in, you finished high school? Oh, here he is. He's a he's a finished high school a couple weeks one year earlier than I was supposed to. All right, that makes sense. That's why you look young. You're an advanced you're an advanced student. All right, let's let's move on with this rumba count. So I've got a card at the face of the pack. This is the one that I'm going to repeatedly show four times in a row as I deal the cards to the table. Just the one at the face of the pack. The deck, the packet is held in dealing grip. I'm going to approach this with my palm down right hand, fingers on top, thumb below. As I grab the packet and turn it palm down, my fingertips shove the lowermost three cards to the left. So it's kind of a block push off with the fingertips and those three cards get flipped face up. So that's step one. We're holding the cards in this fashion, palm down, the hand revolves, palm up, the fingertips shove the bottom cards to the left, the bottom three, and those get turned up. Now we're going to repeat that. Coming in, palm down, pinch, turning palm up, fingertips shoving the bottom cards to the left. This is a, a double. Those get turned, palm up. Repeat it with a single, and that is the Jean-Pierre Valerino rumba count. It's a great alternative to the frustration, but note that it needs a tabletop. So uh, this is this 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 technique stays in the hands, right? So this is a valuable addition to this staying in the hands. But yeah, the the rumba count is a little more deceptive. And yeah, Marty mentions the Boris Wilde kiss count, which is similar, and also the Orion count, all worth learning as well. We're going to invite Marty on the stream to teach those things one day. <laughs> as I'm about out of time here. We're going to uh, loosely wrap this up in the next few minutes. Yeah, it's early, right, Phoenix? It's like, I know, I'm, I'm somewhat opposed to doing magic before noon, but I care about the international viewers, so here we are doing it. And again, if you remember, we're doing paddle tricks at 11. That's coming up right after this one. Probably be about a 30-minute session. I don't know. I just wanted to deliver something for the members. It's been a while since we've done a deep dive on the specific subject, and maybe this will prove some value for, for you guys. And as mentioned in the community tabs, and this is where I post these videos, all the live events, members, or anyone 
keep an eye on the community tabs to stay aware of these things. If you have something that you would like me to talk about, it's very easy. All you have to do is mention it, and I'll do that. So you guys see how user-friendly I am. Idris, I see you asking. I'm, I'm thinking I'm done with the magic today. I really got to take about 10, 15 minutes to reset the uh, situation so my next stream is prepared to go. I just don't have a lot, a lot of more time. So my, my commitment through July and August is to be live every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central. So if you guys want to catch me live, that's when you want to do it every Wednesday for the next two months all summer long. And then I also intend to do bonus content on Friday, probably a, a video, something I'll shoot and edit. This will be a combination of history lessons, performances, and tutorials, and the occasional live stream, live stream like we're doing today. Uh, Donnie, I haven't, I haven't performed at the castle, but I have been speaking with them in the last four or five months, and hopefully that happens soon. Have I seen decoin? Decoin. I don't know what that is. I'll write that down with the other thing. Hold on. Feel like I'm about to spill. Hold on. D coin. Making a note. I've got so much, so many things. But I like it. I like it that way. All right. Anything else? We're gonna give this another minute. If you got anything important to say, now is the minute to get it in. I'll say this again. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you hanging out. Congrats to the winners. Uh, thanks again to the members joining the jam and the super chat. Jay, hope you're having a good day at the tat tattoo shop. Uh, I can't wait to show this Rubik's Cube magic. I'm super excited about the piece I'm posting today. And I'll tell you this. It's a fooler. Used to love the ambitious card, Phoenix. Still do it. It's one of the best card tricks, but I think it's overdone, so I, I don't do it. Peter, Pitar, nice to be in the conversation. Thank you for boosting my ego. Repairman paddle, haven't seen it. Road tree, what's up? Alan Boudreau, merci. Idris, no mas magic. Donnie needs a lift. All right, man, I'll keep you on the short list. All right, y'all, look, I'm wrapping this up. Thanks again. I'll be live at 11. If you want to see more of me, you can do it for just a small fee. Sometimes we have to pay the bills. So I'm going to go do a little bit of that today as I share more love with the members area. So thanks, y'all. And uh, see you with the Rubik's, Rubik's Cube trick later today. If you see it on the shorts, be sure to like and share it. and Give me some algorithmic love. We like that. All right. That's a wrap, y'all. Au revoir.